Welcome back to the build, uh, where we're building our ICF house on the mountain. Today we are working on and hopefully finishing the ledger boards on the inside perimeter of the basement. It's like 400 bolts that go into these connectors, so it's a process. Um, hoping to finish that up today before the weather turns. It's a gorgeous day today. It's probably going to hit 62. So we want to get this finished so we can start on joists. Also, once again, shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring us today. We appreciate their support. More on that later. Let's get to work. You can kind of see here where the water has been collecting when it rains and then it freezes. And uh, we don't want a slab over this when that happens because the moisture is still going to be under there. So we're going to get this all dried out first um, and work on the subfloor above. So we're squaring off this first board that's going to be this ledger board because it's not square. And we're measuring 14 foot 10 and an eighth and then we're going to put the connectors on. <clears throat> All right, we got our hangers set on the ledger board and with one screw in each so we can get it up there and get it started. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, number one, southern yellow pine, 2x12s are very heavy. <laughs> One down, seven to go. 48 bolts in that one board. Whew. A cool little app I've been using called Feet Inch Calculator. Let's you add and subtract fractions. That's pretty cool. And one and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to have to, again, cut a slice off the end to make sure I have a squared end. And then cut this board, what do we say, 14 foot 10 inches. Uh, and then mark along the board all these measurements and put our hangers on the board. So I was going to cut this up there on the scaffolding and then decided it's much easier to work down here. So what I'm going to do is measure my marks to match up with my plates and we're going to put these hangers on. So I've started here so my next one is 41 inches. So come down here, 41, take your hanger, Forty-one inches. Make sure that's on. I'm going to pre-drill all these and then preset all these anchor bolts. There's eight anchor bolts in each one of these hangers and on this board there's five hangers so that's what I'm doing. This one. Yep. <clears throat> Put 
put those crooked ones in? <laughs> that was your first one. Well, who put the crooked ones in? You the second it. one. The second one isn't crooked. Yeah, it is. Oh. This one. Oh, that one? Yeah. I, I did the first two. Yeah, that those was, are good. Those are nice and straight. Well, that was your first one, so um, you get a pass on that. <laughs> I'm saying, the, second, the next one I did is... I'm saying they're all f***ing crooked. Wait, you're not recording live, are you? Yeah. Oh. I'll put that on there. All right, now, let's see if we can get that beast up there. Okay, so we have marked and measured our uh, where our hangers need to go. You can see up there, those are the base plates of the Simpson hangers. We've measured those and marked the measurement on each plate so that we can easily look up there from down here and measure and mark and install the actual hanger on the board, get it all ready, and then put it up there and screw it in. And that's what she's working on. There's a spider on my drill. There's a spider on my drill. slight problem is that where these two ledgers butt together they're fine on the bottom but this board is too wide so we're going to get the jointer and shave that thing down the whole length and then level it and put it in it's always something because you know we want to put our subfloor on top of here we don't want that bump so we're going to shave it off good. I think one more pass would do it. 
Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah. I'd call that good. That's pretty, pretty close. And that's how you solve that problem. Perfect. Nice. Those shin plates came in handy. Perfect. super glad to have that finished that took about a week even though it seemed like it went really quick in the video uh, these boards they're hard to deal with and these hangers are really hard to deal with in some cases the screws aren't strong enough to blow through the plates so there's just a lot of ratcheting and driving I don't know I can't really feel my hand right now but we got them done there's 48 hangers and there's eight bolts in each hanger so you know you do the math that's a lot of bolts floor system is never going anywhere and the next video we're going to start on our joists and uh, probably do a dirt episode on what I would do differently about this subfloor because there are a couple things um, all in all though I'm happy with the results it's a super strong sturdy system uh, 
and we're going to do like i said start on joists in the next video and we'll see you then thanks for watching squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website with Squarespace's blogging tools, you can tell your story, share your updates, and post your photos and videos on a scheduled basis that suits your needs. We've done that with our guildbrookfarm.com website and our guildbrookart.com website. Squarespace's social media tools authenticate with your social media profiles so that you can embed your content on various platforms without having to correct links and titles or tags. You can also use Squarespace's email campaign features to make your emails stand out and unify your voice across your website and brand emails. If you're interested in checking Squarespace out to build your own website, go to squarespace.com slash Farm to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase.